The Black in America Tour is currently taking one of America's most challenging conversations on the road. The tour stopped by Purdue University's campus in the Elliott Hall of Music last week and is bringing the issue of police brutality to college campuses to allow students to join in the conversation. The tour gives students an inside look at the newest installment of the Black in America documentary series, Black and Blue. Fast Track reporter Scott Jeffrey attended the event. Award-winning journalist Soledad O'Brien visited Purdue on February 10th for a conversation about race relations and policing in America. O'Brien's visit was a part of her Black in America 2015 tour, which is visiting several different college campuses in the month of February. The tour shares O'Brien's own professional and life experiences and also has a panel discussion that covers issues, challenges and culture of African Americans across the country. Uh, I think it's a good, a good thing that you know, they're requiring people to go to learn more about different cultures and just kind of strengthen the community here in West Lafayette at Purdue. And I think that it's really important on a campus in the middle of the Midwest with everything that we have going on in the world right now to just kind of see where people stand on um, what they think it's like to be black in America. I, I guess for international students, it's very clear how um, race is one of the big issues in, in America. Late last fall semester, Purdue's campus saw students faculty and community members from all different racial backgrounds march in protest of Ferguson. The Black in America tour allowed Purdue students to continue to join in the conversation and share their frustrations in regards to race relations and policing issues in America. I think that the presentation Tuesday is actually a signal that Purdue is joining in the conversation. The fact that the Division of Diversity and Inclusion um, sponsored that event I think is a signal to the students that the protests that took place on campus um, were heard, that the administration is responding to students' concern. And so I fully expect that the conversation on Tuesday is the beginning of a conversation, not just a one-shot deal. Mm -hmm. I'm currently standing inside the Elliott Hall of Music where Soledad O'Brien's Black in America tour took place last week. On a college campus such as that as Purdue's, there are a variety of ways in which students can join in the conversation about race relations and policing and have their voice heard. I think the most important thing for students to do is to get educated so that they understand um, the frustrations of um, students of color um, so that they can um, understand how to respond to injustice when they see it. And I think that students need to organize themselves, so come together in student groups. But I think it's also important to keep the lines of communication open so that they don't just go to the administration with um, a list of demands, but maybe talk to administrators, talk to faculty members, and have some conversations. The tour spoke of issues that are usually not commonly talked about in America, such as that of lynching. Talking to students after the show, they were surprised but thought that it was appropriate that the conversation covered such issues. I think that was good to get people energized about the conversation and say like, hey, America, we need to look at ourselves and we're not this perfect school, I mean, this perfect uh, place where it's the land of the free, home of the brave. Like, there was a lot of violence that went on here that we need to address. Reporting for Fast Track, I'm Scott Jeffrey.